Begone, you fiends, to the place you keep. May the fire and brimstone burn your dark souls, for the demon inside may no longer toil. Down you go forever and a day, and in one thousand years, yes, you may rise again. Hello there, me dearies. I be Eden, and I know the way. Oh, yes, indeed I do. Though I may be old, I'm ever so bold. I like to talk and rhyme, whatever time. I can you slip. <laughs> a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away. Oops, sorry, rang epic. Now let me see. That's right, vampires. Long, long time ago, 1,000 years and upon a time, vampires did murder for no reason rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> in West Transylvania, born and raised in the graveyard where they spent most of their days killing and eating, feeling not fine, feeling really evil, passed away their time. When a couple of Druids who were up to all good started making trouble in the neighbourhood, they got a one little fight and the vamps got scared and they all ran away to our England fair. They then whistled for a coat and when they came near, I go on the top and the missing ear. Er, Ernie, it's dark in here. Yeah, it is. So now I'm supposed to recognise the boxes. Hey, I think it's those coffin-shaped ones over there. Those boxes ain't coffin. <laughs> yeah, they do look a bit chesty. <laughs> ah! <sighs> uh, but this box is you. You what? You wrapping me up?
dog. Where's Evelyn? I'm hungry. Do you remember anything? I remember some chitty, city chanting men in white at uh Yes, oh, indeed. I cannot emphasize enough how important it is you don't eat any mortals, Quibbin. Your soul will be in a turn. You can't tell me what to. You know I go down. I hate you. You sound fair. There's never anyone to eat around here. Teenagers. <laughs> such as Bram Stoker's Dracula. Dead and loving it, and how to use a cleaning product to your immense satisfaction. <laughs> Here for your delectation today, I have the finest in feather dusters. What is your name, damned fiend? Where is your master? I know he's here. I can smell him. What foul deeds have you committed this time? Good whites never got over the short back and side you gave her. <laughs> yeah, I know. I couldn't believe it. I said to him if you're going to do all of it and the world, I love you stuff, but I'm just not interested. Well, um, he is a bit older than you. By about 200 years. And could easily, can easily be forgiven for thinking that falling in love with you was the end of the world. Well, yeah, but he looks all the time and all the whining. Okay, yeah, all right, it must be pretty hard being undead and having a soul and people trying to kill you every five minutes and all that. But some of those people trying to kill him were your watchers and then your friends and then you. Oh, I'm quite easy. I'm quite, you know, I broke five nails last week and spilled bread all over my new Prada outfit. And does he care? No! All he can go on about is some ass and it's hung up with some hell holes. Later! Was the pink hat entirely necessary, Huffy? You said the first thing about being a vampire hunter is to be prepared. I am prepared. Anyway, if the Prince of Darkness suffers me a boat ride, I even have my deck shoes. This is hardly amusing, Huffy. Lucifer is the world's most feared vampire slayer. His legendary acts of evil travel through history. Do not underestimate your foe, Huffy. You will regret it. Yeah, but what's about that one thing about him being forbidden to drink blood? Oh, you were listening then. I thought you were too engaged in the latest issue of Kiss and Tell. <laughs> to read my boring old reports or boring old manuscripts. You really must start taking this seriously, Huffy. You were the only one protecting the world from destruction. And however that may scare me, there's, there's just no one else. Don't pout, Jonathan. It doesn't suit you. Anyway, that there was quite interesting would be Angelina Vampire Lane. What? Evelyn, Huffy, Evelyn. For goodness sake, 
you're going to get us killed. I'll take those flipping bags and shove them where the sun don't shine. She's taking the mickey, but I know that I'll survive. She's taking all the strength I have not to fall apart. To rip out pieces of her head and hold her beating heart. I know this trick was my idea, but I didn't know what she had. She's taking the mickey. the land. You're going to need more than garlic. <laughs> oh, these are nice ways. Poor Lucifer. I fear the sleep and lack of food has addled his brain. I must find him some tasty morsel to whet his appetite. What can I do to return him to his former self? He used to look so fetching when his fangs were out. My true mistress! Igarina, can that really be you? So fetching, and all those new ears. Who's a clever girl? Stand up, let me have a look at you. I knew you were the wise mistress. It's been so long. Where's the master and the lord? Sorry, I let myself in, doors open. Never mind. Hello, Miss. I recognise you. Oh my gosh, Catherine! Gamma, gamma, poo, poo, gamma, tapa, poo, poo. Do a little hairdo, snip it here, snip it there, and we get our underwear. Go, go! Oh, Harvey, it's so nice to see you again. What on earth are you doing here? Well, sightseeing on my tutor. Great place if you like mountains like here. Although, I must say, I prefer looking at them from below. And you, what are you doing here? I own the hotel. My great uncle died suddenly and left me the place. I never met him. Big responsibility, really. Boring most of the time, but I'm getting used to it. It's a far cry away from cutting edge fashion and crazy white lights, making me move a I take it you're quite remote out here then. Yes, we were only on September's issue of Kiss and Tell. Oh, that's barbaric! You need, you need to be at least six months ahead to keep your fashion cool. Oh, what will I do? Well, here is next January's issue, and we have some news for you. Me in a magazine, you've got to face the back. They've got to be the head of the game to know just where you're at. Tell them the story. Just let them know. It's a fashion. Let the audience grow. And when you set the seat, just walk away. Keep your cool. Don't break the rules. Sit by the pool. And let the money grow. If you want to be in a magazine, you've got to
down. It looks as if you're going to pass out. Where's the bar? Is it always like this? Yes, I'm afraid so. It's a terrible strain that is get, he is getting old. And someone has to look after him. Old? Old? But I'm only 34. You've done this to me. It's all the constant inane chatter. I'll die to hear some John Dunn or discuss the downfalls of church reformation. But now, it's all Jen, Rabbi and Angelina, the triangle from hell. Or who slogging who, when, where? Or did they show their pants when they got out of the car? Hmm. <coughs> the mistress will be pleased. More guests to feed upon. By the looks of it, there must be at least five. <laughs> <laughs> So did you, Lucifer, so did you. I am not saying I am above reproach, for so long I murdered where I chose, regardless of the consequences. But I am choosing a new way, whether you're with me or not. Have we got everything we need? We got the garlic, the steaks, and water. No holy water. I could say a prayer. Don't think that'll work, mate. You've got to be ordained. I heard that's painful. Poor little baby boys. <laughs> we ready then? Yeah. Please, Lucifer, I'm begging you. Drink. Remain true to yourself. You cannot resist what you need. Indulge. No one will hold it against you. Can you not feel the need within? Well, now you come to mention it, I can feel something wriggle inside me. I can feel it growing. I can feel the power. One crash of lightning! <laughs> Two crashes of lightning! Three crashes of... No, it's no good, Evelyn. I mean, I must at least try to remain good, and your temptress be gone from my sight unless you take me with your evil. Lucifer, you will drink the blood. Maybe not today and maybe not tomorrow but soon and for the rest of your undead life. Women! <laughs> you were <coughs> so embarrassing. Falling all over the place like that. Oh, poor Catherine. What she must think of me. You should be ashamed. Then blame to me you're lying about your age. I thought nightmares were supposed to finish when you wake up. Well, when you finally get your act together, maybe, just maybe, we can finally start thinking about the mission. Besides, I know there's already two other vampire hunters in the building. How then? How do you know? Well, while you were dribbling and moaning about someone named Mina, I decided to go have a little look about. So, this interesting kind of creepy old lady named Eva showed me these two, um, I guess you could say professionals for people on painting. They? No. Their gadgets may not be as sparkly as ours, but they are professional 
dance. Should we dance? Yeah, it's more like a bit like yoga, but like a bit more funky. I'd probably like some new hip way of starting virtual. Hmm, maybe. You Americans do have some strange cultural practices. <sighs> Can you stand? Just about. Shall we go and ask you Americans say, kick some vampire ass? Ass. That's what I said, ass. <laughs> now let's walk away. You move your lips. Come on, sing with me. Ass. 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 No, it's ass. Ass. Then I missed a tweet special. I can't believe you've done this. Now what will I wear for the watchers' convention? They want my dress trousers. Children, uh, I'll just get you another pair. You don't understand. The fibres in those trousers go back generations. Okay, okay. You don't wash history, girl. Wait, you haven't washed this in all this time. You, that is absolutely disgusting. I would have never thought of it of you.
next Tuesday. <laughs> Mr. Commands, I obey. Die well. Oh, oh, not quite dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> One last breath. Right. And another. Must die soon. Running out of words. <laughs> Get uh, oh, oh. Still not dead. <laughs> End my misery. <laughs> Must I do everything myself? Uh, oh, oh, one last, one last breath. Shut. It's gonna take more than that to <laughs> kill me. <coughs> Shut up, you old windbag. <laughs> oh. Oh. Clean up this mess. I'm taking the girl. Throw away, mistress. I see you've changed your mind then, Lucifer. Nice job. As always, you win the I can bring home more food than you competition. I'm impressed. And did Quevin help too? Oh, how sweet. You've got the wrong impression, love. Yeah, we ain't prisoners. You are. Lovely colour you, darling. Shame to ruin that. Evelyn, what are you doing? I thought we had talked about this. I don't want to eat mortals anymore. I've handed myself in. All very agreeable. All nice and gentlemanly. No blood spilled. <laughs> but that's precisely the point, you fool! I want blood spilt. I am a vampire. Evelyn, please stop. You can't kill this divine creature. Look at the lustre of her hair and the way she drools slightly as she's unconscious. It's all too divine. I forbid it. I think she's the one I've been looking to spend the long nights with. Katerina. Oh, Katerina. Katerina, Katerina, oh Katerina, and I want to make you mine, oh Katerina. Katarina, oh Katarina, and I want to make you mine, oh Katarina. Katarina, and I want to make you mine, oh Katarina. Romelina, oh Katarina. Was there anyone so divine as Katarina? Katarina. Truth. She can't handle the truth. This mortal 
Tassie has no idea what's going on. She, I doubt she'd even recognise the truth if it came up wearing a big sign saying, Hello, I'm the truth. Well, if we're going to get nasty, we should just remember who gave us electrolysis. We would still have to have one big eyebrow if it worked for me. And now my tears are out of line. I'm going to have to call my cosmic counsellor. Do you know how expensive that is? I'm sending you the bill, lady. Hello? Yongwen? Yes, it's me. I'm having a slight problem. You'll be here as soon as you can. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> you called? I am Yong Win. Hi. Of the seventh karmic wonder. Well, as you probably know, I'm having some trouble with my yin and my yang. Oh, you must stay strong. You must make sure you stay strong to be a tall fighter. I know my marks were low in curling class, but I'm afraid. Well. I know you have to fight with them. I don't want to be a hairdresser. I want I don't I, I want to be a comic one next. You do Lee Potter's friends? No, I'm Catherine Jones. Oh, my mistakes. Your counsellor not ready till Monday. You call back then. Bye. <laughs> Enough of this! I'm hungry! You can't eat me. Oh, yes I can. <laughs> oh no, you can't! Oh yes, you can. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What am I saying? Oh, Catherine, run away with me! I can make you so happy if you only would, you would let me show you the wonders of the night. But darling, you have me. Why do you need her? To commit to another. To commit to another. And to be forever tied up. And not able to eat with your, your lord and master, with your lord and master, because they forbade it. Now hang on a minute, Jezebel. I'm sick of your stuck-up "I'm better" attitude. I want you to leave this hotel at once. Don't worry, Miss. I'm had the pleasure of killing a second gen for about 2,000 years. Oh, we are really going to have to wrap this up. Dragging on, a bit. Dragging on, dragging on a bit, ain't it? Couldn't agree more, good man. Better. What next? What next? 
You must not kill that bird today. <laughs> oh, yes I can. Do you see what it takes? Just this piece of wood here and get put a nail in the top of it and stab it right in his heart. But he has done nothing wrong. Since he has returned, he has been pure. He's done nothing wrong, has he? So what you're trying to say is half of these people are innocent and Catherine, she's trying to run a hotel to a three-star status and trying to be a nice person. Well, that's a bit like... That's a bit like hypocriticism. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> I suppose you are right. Can't have dogma disproved. I will make a phone call. Excuse me. Okay, she be back in 30 seconds. Look like our job here is done. Another town saved. And another couple reunited. We should sell the lights. Oh yeah, and we'll be billionaires. <clears throat> Catherine, my angel, are you all right? Oh my head, Lucifer, is that you? What happened? Do not worry, you are safe in my arms. I have another message for you too. Because you have been so good and asked for forgiveness, we will give you another chance. You shall be made mortal and you will live out your life here on earth. With the rest of them. With the rest of them. <laughs> but you must promise not to be a naughty boy. <laughs> I promise. You know what this means, my darling. I can live out the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Stand on this, sir. Who are you? I am Igorfa, Igrina's boyfriend. Thank you. Right then, Quevin, you are my new apprentice. You will come with me. Bye, Lucifer. Bye, Catherine. Never any thanks for the one who sorted it all out. Never any thanks for the one that sorts it out. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. <laughs> You're vegan. You don't eat. I'm still hungry. You're always hungry. Come on, friendship. I'm still hungry. Once again, I can't thank you enough for coming this evening, and we applaud you.